Good morning, everybody. All right, so today we are doing a full body chair workout. So the only equipment that you need today is a chair or a stool. The higher it is, the harder your workout is going to be. So I suggest using just a standard kitchen chair. Um, we're gonna do 10 exercises, doing 30 seconds each and three rounds. It's going to be a total of about 15 minutes. Um, our very first exercise that we're going to do is going to be a toe tap. So you're gonna stand facing the chair, alternate your legs lifting up, and just tap the top of the chair. The faster that you go, the harder it'll be, the slower you go, the easier it will be. Uh, so we'll, you can set your own timer for 30 second intervals or you can follow along starting now. 30 seconds here. Keep going. Our second exercise is going to be a squat and chair raise. So once you do that, you're going to squat down, lift up your chair, and raise it. Squat back down, put the chair down. Squat up, lift the chair, squat back down. We're still at those toe taps. In three, two, one. Squat. Lift the chair. Squat. Put the chair down. Squat. Lift the chair. Squat, put the chair down. Keep going with that. Our third exercise is going to be a single leg squat. So you're gonna stand on one leg, sit onto the chair, stand back up. So we'll do that when we finish our squats. In three, two, one. So standing on your left leg, sit down into your chair. Lift back up. To make it a little bit easier, you can put your right leg on the floor just for support, but don't put your weight into it. Keep all weight in your left leg. For exercise number four, we are going to do the same on the opposite leg. Three, two, one. So now we are standing on our right leg. Remember, if you need the stability, to put your left leg down. Helps with the balance, makes it easier. For our next exercise, we are going to do alternating step ups. In three, two, one. You're going to leave with your left leg, back down. Up with your right, back down. With your left, back down. We're there for 30 seconds. And then we are going to move on to push ups. challenging, you can do it with one leg. 
After this exercise, our 10th and final exercise is going to be a sit-up. So starting now, you're going to support your legs on the chair and just crunch up, lifting from your chest. So drink some water. Oh. And then we're gonna start right back from the top doing our toe taps. alternating step up. We are going to be moving to the floor to do our bridges. Bring your 
chest down to touch the chair, push back up. And keep your back straight. Remember, for a slightly easier alternative, you can go onto your knees. Drink some more water. We're gonna move right back into those toe taps. We'll wait for our timer. foot for balance if you need it. After this, we're going to head back into our push-ups. Push-ups in three, two, one. Remember to keep your back straight. to go into our alternating step up. Alternating step up. So now, Oh my God. 
about two more exercises after this, and then we are finished. After this, we are going to do a lay down and do bridges and sit up. Pat on the back. Feel free to repeat it if you're looking for a longer exercise and have a great rest of your day.